Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is action required TPM 2.0 disable secure boot disable. So if you're receiving this error and here you can see TPM 2.0 and secure boot required to play the game. Now, if you go to call of duty website over here, you can see uh, TPM 2.0 and secure boot will be required to play call of duty black ops 7. Now, first of all, to fix it, first of all, update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number. This is just an example. Make sure that you go to your system manufacturer website and select your model number over here. Make sure that you select your computer. This is just an example. And once you select your computer, you can go to drivers and downloads. and then find the BIOS for your computer, BIOS update. So click on select drivers and then check for BIOS. So here you can see BIOS. So you can download the BIOS and then you can run the, uh, run the file and you can update the system BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS and after the BIOS update, you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, enable TPM 2.0 and secure boot in system BIOS. So first of all, you can type in, you can open run box, in, type in run in Windows search box. And then in the search, you can type in tpm.msc and then click on OK. And over here, you can see uh, compatible TPM cannot be found. If it is enabled, it will be like TPM is ready to use. So in my case, it's not enabled. And then you can type in MS info 32 to check the secure boot. Now here you can see secure boot state is off. If it is on, that means it is enabled. Now to enable these two uh, TPM 2.0 and secure boot, uh, if you're not sure how to make changes, if you're not confident, make you can contact system manufacturer before making changes as this may lead to no boot issue. It, it could break your computer. So contact your system manufacturer because this will, this if you incorrect changes may lead to no boot issue. And you can even visit Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Windows 11 secure boot, how to enable secure boot. So. Dell, Lenovo, HP, there are steps. You can follow the steps from here as well. First of all, shut down your computer. To go to the system BIOS, you can shut down your computer and then you can go to system BIOS. For Dell computer, for my computer, it's F2. So you have to start your computer and as soon as you start the computer, keep tapping the F2 key on the keyboard, which will take you to the system BIOS. For different brands, the BIOS key may be different. So you can shut down your computer and then once you shut down, start your computer and keep tapping the BIOS key to go to the system BIOS. Now, once the computer is shut down, you can start your computer. And as soon as you start your computer, you can keep on tapping the BIOS key. For me, it's the F2 key on the keyboard. Uh, once it is in system BIOS, now you can go to the boot configuration or boot option and make sure boot mode is set to UEFI. So in my case, it is already set to UEFI and then scroll down find secure boot so here you can see secure boot and it is disabled over here so you can enable it so yeah now it's secure boot is enabled and at the bottom uh, i have apply changes option so hit apply changes and then you have to click on ok And then I will go for TPM. I will find TPM. Now in my case, it's in security tab. So security. And then over here, you can see for me, it's Intel platform trusted trust technology. That is PTT. So in my case, this is off. So I will turn it on. And once you turn it on at the bottom, hit apply changes. And then again, Click on OK over here. And then once you make the changes, you can exit. Now for AMD users, uh, you can enable this AMD CPU 
FTPM Trusted Computing 2.0. Make sure this is enabled and then you can save changes and then restart your computer. Now after the system restart, you can launch the game and over here you can see there is no error and you can start playing the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.